Hi guys, welcome to A Cumbrian Lad Outdoors and welcome to today's video. As you can probably tell, and as most of you know by now with my Instagram and my YouTube posts, COVID has finally caught up with me. After three years of thinking I was immune, it's finally caught me. It absolutely kicked my backside <laughs> on Thursday when I was at work, despite me testing negative when I got home. Unfortunately, tested positive on Friday morning when I got up from, for work. So I am feeling back up to about 75% now. Um, so what I've decided to do, as per the poll uh, uh, on the YouTube, is to come out just for a solo camp in my private woodlands. There's nobody else comes here, private woodland, so it's all safe as houses. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the hammock tent from Nightcat, which they have kindly given me. As always, despite getting something for nothing, which is always nice, um, any opinions that I will offer and give in this video are 100% from the heart, true and honest. So I'll get the camera put down, we'll get the kit out and let's have a look at it. Here we have the hammock tent from Nightcat. I ordered it in a camouflage, but it also comes in a khaki green. I thought the camouflage was the best option. Now, the idea of this hammock tent is to be an, like an all-in-one setup. So you don't necessarily need a tarp. So um, it sets up and it's got its own little tarp that goes directly over it. So what you see here is a full package. So if you didn't want to bring a big bulky tarp, then you've got this, this all-in-one, all-encompassing package. We'll give you a little bit of a closer look at it. Now, with me having COVID brain, I've left me a little bit of paper at home with the information on it. But from memory, that is 45 centimetres long by about 22 centimetres wide and about 13 centimetres deep. And as you can see, the camouflage is quite nice. Inside, you can see there we've got the instructions and everything in there is what you need so you've got pegs you've got your poles you've got your tarp you've got your hammock you've got your daisy chains absolutely everything in there that you need so what i'll do now is i'll put the camera back down again and we'll get everything out and i'll show you how to put it up now it's my first time putting it up um, as always i would recommend that you do try and set stuff up at home before you you head out into the woods or up the fells but i am quite experienced with hammocks as i am with tents um, and I have done a bit of research, so I should be fine, but you never know. So please take my advice. If you are heading out with a new piece of kit, please do try it at home first. Right, let's get things uh, underway. I'm going to go between my two usual trees, a familiar pitch for me. So the first thing to do is locate inside the package the daisy chains. Right, I've located the little bag with the daisy chains in. Let's have a wee look. So we've got one daisy chain, two daisy chains, two quite very sturdy pegs, and we've also got some bungee cord. What I'll do is I'll give you a quick close up of those. So you can see there the pegs, quite thick and heavy duty, and the daisy chains, they're very well stitched and they look quite long as well. So we'll get them on the trees. And there we go, that's the daisy chains on. And we're now ready to get the hammock itself. So it does come with its own carabiners on it, which is good. We'll get them roughly put in position. Drop that end down. There we go. Right, 
And what I'm going to do is, just before we go any further, I'm just going to have a little trial hang, just to make sure that it's like the right height and the right balance for me. And also to see how it settles. You can see there already, it's settling in quite low. So I definitely need to go up a couple of marks. Yeah, it's not too bad that, just to see. Yeah, that's pretty good. But what I'll do is I'll just zip it back up. And then it's time to get the poles out and get the poles put in. Once again, the poles come in uh, a nice little bag. The, the peg bag's just grey, but the pole bag is the camouflage, which once again is really nice. Got like a mesh guide that the poles go through. Double sleeve. There we go. Every day is a school day. So yeah. Into, back into the grommet on the back side. Just give it a shove through into the grommet on the front. And that holds it nice and wide. As you can see, that does make it slightly top heavy and it wants to tip over. But that's what your, your peg out points will be for to stop it doing that when you're not sat in it. We'll do the same again at the foot end. Through the double mesh into the grommet at the back, which it clips into nicely. Give it a shove, come out the road, and see there, and it just simply clicks in position, and that's your hammock set up. So, all I have to do is get in and try it in that position. It might need to go up or down the tree, dependent on how I feel when I get in it. Doesn't feel too bad that at all. We do have a little uh, pocket in here, one at the foot end <clears throat> and one at the head end. So again, I shall just try that. Just keep my boots out of it. And that does feel really nice. Yeah, got a couple of hooks there as well. So, right, what we'll do is we'll get that pinned down just so it can't rotate, it'll stay in this position. And then I'll look at getting the cover on top of it and showing you that. So there we go. I'll put one bungee to the back at the right and one bungee to the left at the front. So that keeps it nice and still. As you can see, it does move, but it returns back to the position where you want it to. Before we put the tarp on, let's just have a closer look. It is made out of parachute material uh, with having the Kobe brain I forget exactly but I'll pop up on the screen what that is now it is approximately nine foot long and from top to bottom about four and a half foot the mesh is a very high density I don't know whether you can I mean you can see right through it it's so fine yet it feels really strong you can see the, the double mesh loop that the poles go through and the grommet that the poles clip into as well. I've just flicked the mesh out of the way for now. You can see the parachute material, zips really good quality. You've got one pocket 
at the bottom end by your feet. You've also got one pocket at the top end and inside we do have a couple of hooks. One at either end for hanging stuff off. You could even hang a ridge line between that as well. And with having the spreader poles in, you can see it's really a nice wide area to be in. So if you wanted to, you could just use a normal tarp over the top of that. Um, you could also, if you didn't fancy having the, the hoop spreader poles in, uh, because you didn't need your bug mesh, you could leave them out and turn it upside down so the mesh hangs down and just use it like a normal hammock. If you wanted, for example, to use something like the cocoon during winter time. So what we'll do now is we shall put the tarp that comes with this hammock on top of it. Now, because this is a single side entry hammock, obviously the entry on the tarp that goes over it, because it's so close, needs to match. But again, because it is single entry, that makes it really easy to spot on the tarp. You will see which side the zip is, and that needs to go this side. So there we go. We've got the zip this side. So let's get it on. You just need to be careful of these uh, bungee guys when you're walking around it. And there we have it, first time setting it up, really easy. Um, so I think that looks really good with the cover on there. I think the, uh, the camouflage looks really nice. Um, so what we'll do is we'll open it up and just let's have a look at it as it is now. There's a little bit of a closer look at the camouflage. The outer fly sheet <clears throat> is made of uh, a really strong and durable Oxford cotton, which is 4,000 mil hydrostatic head. And you can see there just how strong that's going to be. <clears throat> You've got a good flap over the zip, which Velcros down to stop any rain getting in. <clears throat> and a couple of little toggles at either side to keep this, this front rolled up for you. The carabiner for the fly sheet simply clicks onto your uh, daisy chains and you've also got another little securing point there where you just tie a little knot. I don't know about you guys, but I think that looks really smart. Let's have a climb in and see what it feels like. Well, that's me just kind of side hanging in the, uh, in the hammer because I've still got my boots on. But with having these these side poles, there's plenty of room. I'm not joking you, even for a fella of my size. Um, you know, it doesn't feel like it's nipping your shoulders or anything like that, which I sometimes get with other hammocks. And there's more than enough room lengthways, even for me. And it does feel, it does feel quite cosy with that, with that tarp so, so, so close to you as well. So yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to, uh, to spending the night in this. Really am. One thing that, that does have me 
puzzle though. I mean, obviously, if it's the middle of summer and you're not really expecting that much rain, you know, you can if you're gonna get a little shower or something like that, you could just put your gear on the floor underneath you. But if it's the middle of winter, normally I've got my big four before tarp, which gives me plenty of room to be putting my gear underneath it and, and stuff like that. And I have got that with me tonight because we are expecting rain. And I am wanting to go live. Uh, I'm going to do a live as well. So once I've finished this part of the video, I am going to be setting up my big 4 before tarp over this. So I've got a large area to uh, to sit in the dry and do my live from and grab my food and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, one idea I was thinking was maybe the backside of this that they, they could run the little tarp to the to the to the ground just to create a a little area where you could actually put your gear and keep it dry but um but yeah as that's us mainly set up um i'm gonna go and get me big tarp up because i do think the rain is coming um and like i say i need to be able to sit in the dry to do me live um, and get me food and that so i'm gonna do that and then i'll bring you guys back well, there we are. We're all set up. We have had a, a little bit of a shower, so it's a, a, a good job I did bring the uh, DD 4x4 Multicam just to be able to sit, sit underneath and stay dry. The last thing I want to do at the minute with having the COVID is get wet and then get cold. I have left the Nightcat's own tarp on just as a wee bit of an experiment. I'm just a bit curious as to how much heat, extra heat that will hold in. So, um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. I have brought my own under blanket just to help keep me warm. And I haven't really got a very exciting tea tonight. What have we got? I've got some Idaho and mash to go with some uh, chili con carne. I can't go to the shops. Our lass is out somewhere. <laughs> um, so I had to deal with what I've got in the house. I've got a muesli for breakfast and I've got a sticky toffee pudding as well. Um, I've got my jet boil and I've got another stove with us so more than enough more than enough to uh, to feed us for the night and yeah definitely no beers tonight the uh, the only drinks for me is going to be lem sip I'm afraid um, yeah so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go and sit myself down and do me live on YouTube and I'll bring you guys back when it's food time right guys that's me all tucked up in my hammock um I must apologize I'm not myself tonight. Um I was going to have some food and everything but I just don't feel like it. Um I'm I'm still all right, you know, um but with covid and everything it's kind of blow me on my ass really so um Yeah, I can only say sorry. It's not the usual video from me but I just need to get my head down, so um, that's exactly what I'm going to do, so I'll see you guys in the morning. Well, good morning everyone. Um, I slept really well. Um, till about 2 o'clock in the morning I had to get up for a pee, um, and it's now about 6 o'clock. Bearing in mind the, uh, the clocks did go back last night. So, yeah, I'm just about ready to get up and uh, maybe get myself some breakfast. Um, following going live last night on uh, on YouTube, I was just absolutely knackered. Uh, just didn't feel ready for any food, but um, I just wanted to get my head down. So, obviously, that's what I did. But I'm definitely ready for, um, definitely ready for some food now. So, yeah, super impressed with the... Uh, with the hammock tent from Nightcat, I mean, inside the mesh, I can put my hands like right up as far as I can, and my knuckles are touching the inside of the of the mesh. So for for summertime when there's a lot of flies about, um, it does create quite a lovely little space in here. When I say little, it's not little. I've got more than enough room head to toe. Now I'm laid in it fully, and as you can see, it it's not nipping my shoulders at all. I've um I've got my elbows out as wide as possible. Um so yeah, really liking it. Um so yeah, I'm gonna get up and get some food. Um and then I'll run through a few more things that I like about the uh, the hammock tent before I head home. So yeah, time to get up.
I hope you guys can hear that. I'm just sat here having my muesli and my lemsi. Not the best combination, but the owls that were that were hooting all night have just started up again. I don't tend to catch that on camera um, when I'm at my woods a lot at all. But yeah, I hope you guys heard that. Well, I don't half feel better for my breakfast and a lemsi. Um, and as you can see, I'm more or less packed away. I've just left the uh, the hammock tent out just to, to have a final look through it with a few thoughts um, after spending my first night in it. Um, like I've already said, I slept really well. There's plenty of room inside, both lengthways and to reach up. And it was very comfortable as well. So, uh, like I said, before we go, we're just going to have a, a little bit of a closer look. And the first thing that I'm going to mention is the under blanket that I was using, that I use for my normal um, hammocks, is for the ones that you that aren't spread wide, so you tend to lie in it. With this being spread wide, as you can see, if I come round, it is quite wide, so it doesn't quite fit <laughs> uh, into that into that under blanket. Now, Nightcat do do a specific wide under blanket for this. Um, so if you are thinking of getting one of these hammocks and you've you've got one of these skinnier under under blankets under quilts, um, you might want to think about getting one of the wider ones. And what I did want to point out as well is it's maybe a bit uh, difficult to see with it being camouflage, but same as the tent, the stitching everywhere is absolutely on point. There isn't a stitch out of place. And if I turn it over, everywhere is properly seam sealed as well. So once again, I'm really happy with the quality of build from Nightcap. One thing I didn't show you while I was setting up was this um, self-contained mini tarp. It's got little grommets on that just clips underneath on the spreader poles. And round the back, you've got these little plastic clips that clip in. And then this comes down over the top of it, like so. I'm really impressed with the with the hammock tent, I really am. But there is one little point that I want to discuss with you guys before I head home. And that point is about this, this all-in-one tarp. Now, personally, I think it's a cracking idea. But I think certainly for late autumn, winter and early spring camping here in the UK. Especially when you're getting that sideways, sideways rain, I think you're gonna get wet underneath. I think it's be a cracking, cracking all-in-one setup for late spring, summer and early autumn. But here in the UK with the, especially in Cumbria with the sideways rain that we get, um, I do think your, your under blanket or the underneath of your hammock will most definitely get wet. Um, and your gear as well. So like I say, Nightcat, I know you'll get to watch this, um, so don't take this as a, a negative point. It's uh, it's constructive, um, but I think certainly the backside could do with going to the ground or near enough to the ground so you can create um, a dry space for you to put your rucksack, your jet boil, your food, all that kind of stuff. Um, and during the winter months when i'm using this i'll not be using the uh, the all-in-one canopy that comes with it i'll be using my normal tarp but certainly in the summertime when we just do maybe small showers and stuff like that i'll definitely be using it so all in all it's it's a cracking bit of kit as far as i'm concerned once again um i have forgot my little bit of paper we'd have in covid brain i can't remember how much it is i'm sure it's I'm sure it's in the 90 odd pounds something like that but what I'll do is I'll pop the price up on screen here and as always I'll put a link to this item as well as Nightcat social media in the description for this video so if you want to go and check it out you can do uh, it's definitely worth a look in my opinion so yeah sorry I've not been quite myself on this one guys but uh, um, I do feel better for a night in the woods and the lem suit this morning as well um, so thank you very much for uh, joining me on this one and taking a look at the, the hammock tent from Nightcat. So once again, until next time, stay safe, much love from a Cumbrian lad.